Alright, welcome back to the Genlock. So this time we're picking up Bulbasaur. Um, we go to catch a Rattata. Um, and then we go catch a Mankey and the rat next to Viridian City. Uh, Mankey is usually pretty good. It's really good if you have Charmander for the first gym, because Charmander really can't do anything. Um, we go pick up a Pidgey and a Caterpie as well. Um, Caterpie can be useful, it learns Confusion, that's a good special move earlier in the game. Then we go take on Brock. So for Brock, he sends out his Geodude and gets one shot by Vine Whip. And same with Onyx, he also gets one shot by Vine Whip. And that is the end of Brock. Um, Brock is extremely easy, um, unless you have Charmander, in which case you kind of have to play around it a little bit. Um, I had a couple runs get past Brock with Charmander. You kind of just have to uh, get a good special move in or just hope they don't use Rock Tomb. Um, on the next route, I go catch a Spearow. Um, I'm a decent fan of Fearow. Fearow's pretty good. Uh, it gets some uh, some high attack, which is good f since there's no physical special split in this gen. And uh, Mount Moon, I catch a Geodude. And then on Route 4, I catch an Ekans. Then I go to Battle the Rival. Uh, the rival leads off with Pidgeotto, and I need to just not miss here, and I don't, which is good. And then uh, for Rattata, I go and send in Mankey, and he should be able to make quick work. I think I might have been dead to a crit there. Um, Abra can't do anything, so I just sit here and kind of whittle it down. All it knows is teleport. And then Charmander comes out, and I switch over to uh, Pidgeotto and Pidgeotto can, uh, could probably have taken it out there with a the quick attack, but I didn't want to risk it, so I just went in for the peck with uh, Spearow. So that's that. And then uh, we go and catch an Oddish, um, and then in this route up here where there's Abras, um, I was unlucky and got a Weedle instead. So going into the second gym, if you have a Gloom, this thing can basically sweep because Absorb gives you health back. You just have to hope you don't get confused by the Water Pulse. So I can just sit here and use Absorb all day, and it can use as many you know, potions as it wants. Uh, I'm still going to, to whittle it down because it can't do enough damage to me to outpace my healing from the Absorb. So basically, if you get a Gloom uh, and you level it all the way up to 21, which is the level cap, you should never have a problem. Rep 5, I catch a Meowth, and then I go down to the SSN and battle the rival again. Um, I led with the wrong Pokemon, so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just put him to sleep. And then we can go into Rocky the Geodude, who needs to hit, which uh, can be tough because the thing used Sand Attack, um, but he ends up hitting uh, Charmeleon. I go for a Magnitude, I end up getting Magnitude 10, which is really, really good, and ends up taking him out. Here I'm expecting a Confusion or something, um, but he goes for a Disable. Um, so I don't know why I did the extra switch in here. Um, but I probably could have one-shot the thing with Hyper Fang. And then with Raticate, you know, I can basically send in whoever I want. I end up choosing Mankey because it's super effective. And uh, that's the rival down. Now on to Lieutenant Surge. Fun fact, I spent a good, probably close to 10 minutes trying to get through his little obstacle course thing where he, with the trash cans. Um, that was kind of, kind of dumb, but... Yeah, so this is an easy sweep with Geodude. Geodude uh, basically just needs to not get uh, set up on with the double teams, but he ends up hitting anyway because he's a total G. Um, over north of Rock Tunnel, I catch a Voltorb, and then in Rock Tunnel, I catch a Machop. And then I go on to the third gym. Rock Tunnel is pretty uneventful. Um, I lead off with my uh, Sleepy, aka Hypno, and he makes pretty quick work with Confusion of the first two Pokemon. And then here I have a feeling he's going to status me somehow, and he does. Um, she goes for a Hyper Potion, and I realize I kind of have to switch here because it's just going to keep healing itself up with Giga Drain because I'm slower than it. So here I go up with Fly, with Burb, and um, then go for a, a Fury Attack, which doesn't even kill, which is stupid, but you know, we end up getting the job done. And so that's four badges out of the way. I go and catch a Growlithe in the route next to um, next to the, the, the Lavender Town. And then we go and take on Giovanni. 
and this the first two are pretty quick sweep with Vine Whip with Ivysaur. Then for Kangaskhan, I try and put it to sleep. I think it has Early Bird as an ability. I say this every single time because I feel like it always wakes up really, really early from sleep. But it's whatever. I have a monkey, aka Primate, and he can just karate chop it down, and we're we're basically good there. Um, then we go battle the rival in the uh, the tower in Lavender Town. Uh, Jolteon makes quick work of the first two Mons because they're flying. And then for here, um, I go into a flying type because I, I figure this is probably a good idea. The leech seed is very annoying, which makes me kind of have to switch out here. Um, but, you know, I go into Hypno because Hypno has a physical attack and it can uh, take a special hit pretty well. And then I just destroy his Charmeleon as well. Um, I go in, I go upstairs and catch a Ghastly. Um, Ghastly is really good in later gens. I'm not really a fan of it in this gen, just because Ghost is a physical attack and its physical is, is kind of trash. Um, I go in and I catch a Snorlax as one of my encounters in the route next to Celadon. Um, and then head down through the cycling road and go to Koga's gym. And uh, so Koga, uh, you just gotta basically use Psychic a bunch of times. I get kind of unlucky with Psychic missing. Um, and I get poisoned, so I have to switch out here. Um, I come in and try and use Magnitude. He gets a Acid Armor up, so that's kind of annoying, and I get poisoned. I'm just trying to hit him at this point, and I finally do. The last two Pokemon I can do basically whatever I want with, um, except for Golem, because they both have Levitate, and uh, that makes it so ground moves don't hit them um, I get a leash seed down just to just to hopefully help me out a little bit and then I can kind of whittle him down while he's asleep and uh, get some health back um, here I'm trying to figure out who to send in I send in Rocky because I figured he might have self-destructed and I'm pretty sure at this point I was like going crazy because of the fact that I predicted the self-destruct which was kind of dope um, here I go into Growlithe because I want to get the Intimidate down because it only knows physical attacks. And then from here I have to basically just choose someone to go into. I end up going for uh, Pidgeot. Um, I go for a Fly and get basically destroyed by Poison. And then for here I go for a Shockwave and um, you know I'm just trying to get as much damage as I can. That's a lucky crit. I have a feeling that he would have hit me with a sludge and then I would have died to poison damage, but I got really lucky there. Now next to the rival fight, um, Shockwave doesn't do enough at this point to kill. Um, quick Attack plus Shockwave also apparently doesn't kill. Kind of dumb, but uh, you know, Shockwave for the first two Mons. This is pretty similar to the, the last rival fight. Um, I come in to Doge and hit him with a Flame Wheel. Um, hit through paralysis and confusion which is awesome um, but I you know just need to to get some damage on it now um, that's not not gonna happen forever uh, me hitting through both of those um, Alakazam has very low defense so I brought in a physical attacker and then for here I can basically just send in Rocky and uh, while that did a lot of damage uh, I can I can rock throw and it's four times effective with stab so there's no way he's surviving that. Lapras, my favorite Pokemon probably ever. Lapras, Espeon are probably my two favorites. Um, but Lapras is just so good in this game. So I pick him up and then I come in to here and battle Giovanni. Um, everything is weak to Psychic on his team, I believe. Oh, actually no, just the, the two Nidos are um, Kangaskhan, which comes out. Uh, isn't, but I try and put him to sleep. And he, he does go to sleep. Um, I come in here because I know he's probably going for a physical move. Uh, magnitude takes him out. And then in comes Rhyhorn. I just go for another Magnitude because why not? And uh, that is the end of Giovanni. Then we go up to Sabrina. Uh, Snorlax basically can just tank everything here because it has such high special defense and such high attack. And everything is pretty weak here with, uh, with just regular defense. Um, although they did get a Reflect up, which is 
going to be kind of annoying. Um, that gets him down a little bit. Luckily, I didn't get confused from the um, side beam or there or there. And then uh, the reflect wears off. So uh, he can or she can stall as long as she wants, but it's not really going to make a difference. Alakazam is so fragile, and uh, we win that one. Um, and then I go catch a coughing um, on Cinnabar Island and uh, then go challenge the gym. So I probably should have led a special attacker because of the intimidate. Um, I get double intimidated there, which is kind of cringe. And then I get burned, so I have to switch out anyway. Um, Fire Blast does a decent amount. Um, if either one of those crit, I would have been dead and would have uh, lost my Lapras, but luckily that did not happen. Here I'm expecting a Fire Blast, so I just come in here. He can Fire Spin me. I don't care if I stay in uh, or I'm trapped in. But uh, yeah, it's basically just at this point just waiting out all of the restoring items and then finishing him off. I skip the, the 1, 2, and 3 islands because there's really not a lot there. I would much rather just have the time saved um, rather than getting like one or two encounters over there that I'm probably not going to use in, uh, regardless. For the 8th gym, uh, I basically just solo it with Lapras. Lapras is such a tank in this uh, in this game. One of my favorite Pokemon, like I already said. Uh, this rival fight, I go for a Thunder and I end up getting a crit. I don't think that mattered. For here, I will go into my Venusaur and get the Giga Drain on and destroy the Rhyhorn. Here, I think he's going for a Psychic, uh, but he goes for a Combine, which can be very scary, but he didn't have enough time to set up there because of Snorlax, which is good. We're both paralyzed. I end up getting the kill. Here, um, I'm thinking about going back into Jolteon, but I figure that's probably not a good idea because he has such low health. Um, I just body slam three times, and it ends up doing a pretty good job. Here, I just go for body slam, try and get a paralysis. I do, and then I switch into Lapras, who goes for a surf, and that is the end of the rival. Uh, on the way to Victory Road, I catch a Psyduck, um, and then in Victory Road, I use my Master Ball on an Onyx, which is probably the only time that has ever happened in the history of ever. On to Lorelei, uh, I lead with Jolteon and go for a Thunder, which misses, and I get crit, so super, super unlucky. Double there. I know Shockwave can kill Cloyster because it has Paper Thin Special Defense. Here I figure I have to go for a Thunder. Here I have to go for a Thunder as well. It misses, so I get two unlucky, uh, unlucky misses there. Um, I go for a Brick Break. Uh, this will put him into healing range, which is fine because if I go for another one, this should kill but it doesn't actually, so uh, very sad. Uh, but I keep hitting through Confusion, which is good, except for there, and then I realize I should probably go for Rest. Um, if I hadn't hit through the Paralysis there, that would have been really bad. Sleep Talk, Brick Break, get destroyed, and then for Jinx, it really can't do much to me. Um, it has Ice Punch, but my, my special uh, defense is so high, so I just Body Slam it and it's dead. On to Koga. Koga leads with Onyx, I lead with Lapras, Surf just kills it. Here I'm expecting a Sky Uppercut, uh, so I go into uh, Hypno who can tank it, I go for a Psychic, uh, Rock Tomb, a little bit of speed control, I respect it, and then for Hitmonlee, I go for uh, a couple Psychics, and that's the end of those guys. Here I could have maybe gone for a Psychic, and it could have killed because of Onyx is low special defense, but I figure let's not risk it. Let's go back into Lapras. And uh, here I go in to get the Intimidate off and uh, go for a Flamethrower. Uh, this thing is really, really, really uh, slowing me down. Um, I'm just basically just playing with fire here uh, because of the fact that uh, Cross Chop is very, uh, very prone to getting critical hits and that would probably kill me. Uh, luckily, it didn't, so I went on to Agatha. Uh, this, so I don't have Alakazam in this run like I did the last run. Um, Alakazam makes things super easy if it has enough speed because it can one-shot everything, uh, but I have to go in with, with Hypno 
Um, I didn't bring enough PP healing items, so I'm very low on psychics. So th that is why I switch here. Um, I go for an ice beam and hit myself in confusion, which is uh, which sucks. And I also get badly poisoned, so extremely unlucky, um, as the title suggests. Uh, I switch into Aerodactyl to go for an earthquake. It doesn't. It doesn't kill, but I didn't know this thing had Iron Tail, and I was poisoned, so that is the end of Aerodactyl. Very sad, um, but I come in and hit it with an, uh, a Psychic. Um, I go and try and hit Gengar with a Psychic, and it works because I have Insomnia. It tries to put you to sleep and then Nightmare you. Um, I don't, I'm not sure why, but you know that ends up working out well for me because I had insomnia so I can't get put to sleep and then here uh, you know I don't know how many Pokemon have lived on like just a very very small amount of health just in this elite four run right here um, but it's way too much um, on to Lance so for Lance uh, he leads with a Gyarados and uh, I go for a Thunder because I don't think Shockwave would have done it um, I go for another Thunder, and I get a Paralysis, which is really good. And I was like, okay, you know what, let's play this kind of conservatively. Um, and it gets a Shedskin uh, Cure. Um, I'm down 80 points because of the two uh, Dragon Rages. And then for here, I know this is going to be some kind of like Ancient Power or something. So I come in here and go for a Thunder, which takes it out, which was a good switch. Um, I go for Thunder again, because why not? And I get the crit and the kill, which was really, really cool. And then uh, go into Doge to get the Intimidate off. It goes for a Hyper Beam. I can either do some damage or get a free switch. I end up choosing the free switch into Lapras and uh, go for the Ice Beam. It goes for Safeguard, which is stupid, and that's four times effective, so I win. On to the Champion. So the Champion fight is usually pretty all right um i need to hit this thunder which i do which is good uh for ride on this is going to be a uh, an earthquake um, i don't have a flying type anymore to swap into an earthquake so i had to just tank it um, i get the kill switch into doge and uh, doge goes for the flamethrower which knocks out the executor gyarados this is probably going to be hydro pump um, so I go into uh, Jolteon, who uses Thunder, and here I go into my special tank, which is Lizzo. Get a very unlucky crit. It goes for the Reflect, which is, you know, really just a ridiculous uh, you know, sequence of events there. Um, I think about going for a Swagger, just to try and get it to hit itself in confusion sometimes. Um, the Reflect wears off. Uh, I can tank these usually pretty well, but he has so many healing items and I'm not allowed to use healing items So it's kind of kind of a little cringy uh, But you know, it's like oh my gosh, dude How many times are you gonna heal yourself like this is not demonstrating your skill as a Pokemon trainer? It's demonstrating how much money you can spend on healing items. I know this is an AI and I sound ridiculous But that is most certainly the case um so I switch into Doge here, um, I try to get an extreme speed off just to get a little chip damage. Um, and then I'm, I'm trying to determine who I want to switch into here. Um, and that ends up becoming a bad idea. So I go back in here, get another Intimidate off, although I don't know if it really knows any, um, any moves, the physical moves other than Slash. Um, I go for Sur Surf, it doesn't do enough to kill. I figure I have to sack something, so I come in and I sack Lizzo, I crit, I'm not sure if it mattered. Uh, and then I come in here and go for an extreme speed and end up winning. So make sure to like and subscribe.